We are back again with another secret pack leak. The secret packs are different than the selection packs. They are mostly comprised of reprints. The last secret pack video was on Sword Soul. Now this secret pack leak is going to be about a deck that got first place global of a Duelist Cup back in March. And the new deck type leak of the next selection pack, different than a secret pack, is going to be happening this Saturday on twitch.tv slash decade. Normally I stream on Sunday for this Saturday. That's going to be the day for the stream. A $2,000 tournament qualifier using the brand new ban list. We're going to apply that to the tournament and then we're going to be doing a new leak, new deck type. And I might be doing two. Now, without further ado, let's hop right into it. I got four random replays for when I was dueling on the ladder and let's go. What is it going to be? Do you remember, do you know what got first place global of the Duelist Cup? And I'm going to show you the ultra rares that are going to be reprinted. Are you ready? Yes, it is Punk. Punk is going to be in the secret pack. And that's right, Psychic and Punisher, technically not a Punk specific card, but this will be in the secret pack. These ultra rares among the super rares that you're using in the deck normally. Now, if we scroll down real quick, this is, this is the deck that got first place global with Punk. And I'm using his updated version of his deck list. I'll be showing you that at the end of this video where I caught a hold of his YouTube stream, even this week even, and it has the latest build of what he's playing. So get ready for that. Now, let's get started. This is supposed to be, be about my four, three to five latest duels on ranked win or losses. So let's hop right into that. We're going to start off with Ogre searching for any punk. We're going to have the punk Xiamen and then they're going to chain Havnis. So we're going to be maxi drawing off of every special summon. The Xiamen going to be activating to search your deck for a punk monster. So our normal summon is used up. They do whiff the mill. So that is very good for us with this maxi would like to move. They do have a snow in the graveyard though. Let's find, we're gonna be searching for the Foxy Toon. Now, let's discard a Foxy Toon, special summoning the Sherakusai, which is gonna fusion summon. Ideally, you don't fuse with itself. You wanna be fusing with the Punk Xiamen that you have in the field or the other monster that you may have started with and another Punk in the hand, because if you could leave this on the field, then you could have a very good turn one play. But <laughs> we're getting Kelbecked. So you'll see that very good turn one play in another duel. So this is a very good follow-up here. We're gonna have the instant contact special summoning a level five monster. Its effect is negated. This is like an instant fusion. All right, and now Shokan into Draco Berserker. You know, this is not ideal, but you know, we make do with what we can. Draco Berserker is gonna activate if the opponent it activates a monster effect to banish that monster. It's not going to negate though. So I could max C here, or I'm gonna Draco Berserker. Now, if we read the Sharon, Sharon states that you could special summon this card. If you do send a monster from your hand to the graveyard, then send the top three from your deck to the graveyard. This means that anything before the then, if that does not happen, they don't send three. And also, obviously, the if you do, if that doesn't happen, they don't get to discard a monster. So the Draco Berserker essentially negates the Sharon without negating. Just by banishing, oh, my voice, oh no. By banishing it, it's gone. Let me take a sip of my drink. Normal summon the Rhino Heart, sending a Sharon from the deck to the graveyard. Hold up. I'm recording this late, 4 a.m. Trying to not wake up GM. Going to get hit with the Maxi again into the Kaleido Heart, spin back the Draco Berserker. So yeah, you know, we did Maxi him twice, but you know, he did disrupt our turn one quite a bit with that Kalbeck, which I cannot believe is semi-limited. Anything that's Aqua sent to the graveyard is going to trigger the Kaleido Heart to spin a monster we control back to the deck, which could also be our back row. So Ogre Dance, which we did turn one, we're going to be searching for the Wagon. Wagon is going to... So why didn't I search for Xiamen? Because I'm thinking the Mad Lad probably has a back row card that targets. And this states, if your opponent activates a card that targets a punk monster, I could chain this effect to draw a card. So very good that I led with this instead of the Xiamen. So we get that plus one. All right, drawing into the field spell. Negated me from searching the field spell, but then I randomly drew into the field spell because you targeted me. Perfect. Outplayed. Now the field spell's nuts. 
It's going to help you draw up to two cards every turn, and you're going to be able to special summon a punk from the hand. Now, the problem with punk is, look at my life points, 700, and the punk effects cost 600 life to activate on the field. So we're going to be discarding the ogre and the other monster that is the fox tune itself to special summon a deer note from the deck. Now, Deer Note, when sent to the graveyard from the field, is going to special summon a punk from the grave. So we're going to make our level 8, and we're going to pay our final 800, 600 life points, that is. We can't pay any more. Deer Note does not pay life points in the graveyard. We're going to special summon Ogre Dancer from the grave. Come forth, 2,500 attack. Now, this will be searching for any level 3 Psychic, which is a good reason why you want to play at least one Ghost Ogre. We're going to be searching for the Xiamen. Now we're gonna be also drawing a card because we paid life on the field. We're gonna banish a punk from the graveyard, special summon the Xiamen, and are you ready for the card that's getting released in the secret pack? Psychic and Punisher. This mad lad, while your life points is lower than your opponent, you're gonna be unaffected from activated effects. We could also pay 1,000 life points to banish a monster. Your opponent controls it could be a card, any back row or monster. And also, are you ready? If you didn't know, Xiamen's also gonna boost, so 3,300. Buh! Boost! 11,000 attack, lethal over the Kalbeck. It gets boosted from the difference of life points at the start of the battle phase. Now, it's very quickly, let's hop into another game. Let's go, go, go. All right, all right. Um, I'm happy that this is getting reprinted. This is a very fun deck and capable of getting first global back in March at least. Oh my, oh, oh my. All right, we're gonna have our first turn play. I think we're not gonna be disrupted this time so I could show you what a good turn one's gonna look like. I already have the Xiamen, so I'm thinking, why not go Wagon? If they Imperm, if they Veiler, I get to draw one. Now, Wagon activating into the maxi. I got cross out designate for that negate. Now, let's be searching for that field spell. We did use up our normal summon, but this special summons a monster from the hand. And there we go. We're gonna banish a punk from the graveyard, our only one, the ogre, which searched the Wagon. We're gonna pay to search for a deer note. And now I'm gonna be drawing a card off the contact. Now the deer note is, you know, not really a big deal here but we just wanted to have search for a Foxy Tune if we didn't have that, so make note of that. And we're gonna make a Sherakusai. Sherakusai from the deck. Now I'm thinking, why not make use of my instant contact and before I commit into five summons, why not play around Nibiru? Let's go, let's do it. Let's make a Baron to floor. Now we can negate. Let's do it. Sherakusai is gonna be fusion summoning with the hand in the field, making the Rising Carp. Rising Carp, which you didn't see in the other duel because it got disrupted. It's going to attribute itself to summon two monsters from the deck, two punks. We do want to get our Deer Note out. This is generally where we would get the Wagon to search for the field spell. So this is the last priority to search her, summon her with the field spell. Then you get to search for your trap, which will destroy any card on the field. But because we opened up a decent hand, we were able to skip some steps and summon her early right now. So we are going to Shokan into the Dragon Drive, which could be searching for an Ogre. Deer Note reborning a monster from the graveyard. Come forth. Now, we did not need this emergency teleport if we did not go instant fusion into the Baron to floor. So this is uh, not needed. To have this great turn one, you just minus the Baron to floor here and we'll have the same turn one field, which is going to be a Psychic and Punisher while we're at 4,000 life points, so unaffected from activate effects. Now, what is so good about this? Let's talk about it. I searched for Ogre, so this is not random. This will destroy a monster activating their effect or a face-up spell or trap that's activating their effect. So if they have a field spell, they've been activated after it's already been face-up, you pop it. And what's really good here is the Sherakusai is going to be able to synchro summon during the opponent's turn into a punk that's going to disrupt them. We also have Baron to floor to negate anything, and of course the Punisher is unaffected from activated effects. And then the trap will pop any card in the field. And we somehow are playing the mirror match. I could not freaking believe this. So this is where he wants to make a play, and I do not want him to trigger the Deer No. He's got two monsters on the field. It's now time to activate the Sherakusai quick effect. Quick effect into the amazing dragon, and this truly is amazing. It's going to be targeting cards your opponent controls, back or monster, up to the number of level 3 psychic monsters with different names you control and or in your graveyard. So we have one, two, three, 
and four. That's four different psychic level three monsters that we have on the field and are in the graveyard, but we only have two cards to return back, but that's okay. Just so you know, we could have returned more if we wanted. We're also, because we paid life points, gonna draw a card, the extreme jam session. Imperm, not so good here, but that's okay. Baldrake, all right, banish my foxy tune. Tuning, he already used up his normal summon. I don't know where, okay, uh, Assault Synchron special summon, no? Okay, <laughs> we got him, let's go. You know, we had, we had too much. Negate, pop a card, unaffected. Let's hop into two more duels and then I'll get to the deck list for you. All right, all right. Let me know what decks you are expecting from the new selection pack so that I could prioritize the good ones. Because I do want to announce a good one this Saturday. All right, Ogre Dance is going to be sending a search for the Ziamin. We have an extra punk in the hand, so we could share a Kusai Fuse with the Ziamin and the Ogre in our hand, or we get Ashed. Okay, that does disrupt us quite a bit. That is okay. We're going to instant contact to play through the disruption, make a Baron to floor, and just pass. They're the ones that disrupted me. They asked for this. Now, summoning the Biss deals on the end of my turn is actually a good way to play around Max C. So I do commend for that. And if you have another copy of Serenir, you can also activate that Serenir because it is hard once per turn. We're gonna max C before the Allure of Darkness resolves so that they don't draw into another Ash or a Call by the Grave. And it's good, no disruption for that max C. Banishing, ooh, we got a Hero, Bestial deck, Denier, okay. And getting rid of Plasma, tributing for the Baldrake. This will be sending the Bestial Lubellion. We're now gold sarking to, I don't even remember this duel. Oh, it's a Thunder Dragon deck. What the? Searching for the Hawk. Hawk can summon the Thunder Dragon to make a Colossus, but it looks like he does not want to do that. We still have our Baron to floor, negate, get ready. We are going to be wiping out that back row. It is an impermanence. We're not negating the impermanence, of course. So his own uh, Bistial, it looks like he probably, he drew into impermanence for the turn. So first I commended him for summoning Serenir at the, at the end of my turn because I had a max C and it kind of played around it, but then he draws into impermanence. So it's not actually that good of a play if you play an imperm. It does block your imperm, be careful of that. We're gonna be Ogre dancing into the Ziamin. That's gonna be taking up our normal summon there. Ziamin search for the Foxy Tune. We do not need that evenly match anymore. Discarding any card from the hand. Shokan into the Sherakusai. We don't have an additional punk to use for the fusion, so that's okay. We're just gonna use the ones that we have into the Rising Carp. Rising Carp tribute itself, come forth its own from the deck. We got the Field Spell Search. We have Reborn a Punk from the Graveyard also. Extreme Jam Session ready to draw up to two cards this turn. The Dragon Drive is going to be giving us one drawn card and searching for a level three Punk. And the Deer Note's gonna summon a level eight monster from the Graveyard back on the field. Now this level eight monster states the, not only was the Rising Carp able to summon two monsters from the deck, if you're going second, or you know it's the third turn, that is, you could use its effect to, when sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, target a punk you control, it can make a second attack. And generally, second attacks are only stated to be onto opposing monsters. This does not state monsters. They could be, this could be direct double attack. Very important there. Now, Mad Dam, since we already used up our normal summon, we are going to be banishing from the graveyard, special summoning the Mad Dam. Mad Dam gets searching, and we already drew our cards for the jam session. Well, that's gonna be our final draw, that is. Our final draw, now into Amazing Dragon. And you remember Amazing Dragon from spinning a card back, right? Well, it has another effect, and you can only choose one of the effects that you wanna activate. So this states that you could target a punk monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Boom, that's it, let's go. Rising Carp is gonna make it have double attack. We're gonna reborn the Ogre Dancer. Holy moly, double attack, amazing dragon. Reborning the Ogre Dancer. We can attack with everything. That is what I'm talking about. Now let's conclude this with a final replay and then we will be good. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Final replay it is. And do you have any recommendations for Konami on what they should be reprinting in a secret pack? Do you think, obviously, tier limits too soon, right? Or is it? Sprite, should they be reprinting that? Do you think I'm going to be unveiling that? I do have another unveil or two of secret packs I will be letting you all know about soon. 
and uh, we did the swords already, so that's good. Maxi, in response to the attempt to fusion summon, ashing my Maxi, so that's fine. And you may be thinking, why not Imperm or Ash the Rhino Heart? Well, I would potentially Ash it if I did not have an Impermanence. I have Imperm for the Kit Kalos, and I'd prefer to use it on that. And otherwise, the Ash for an opposing Maxi, I think is gonna be much better used. Or if they do something that we're, you know, afraid of, like maybe a Sharon play. A Sharon play, I could negate that with the Ash. Otherwise, we got Imperm, so we're good. Imperm, negate the Kit Cow. If he follows up Sharon, I think that would be a good Ash because he's not gonna be able to make a rank four exceed here. This is negated, so it can't send itself to then summon a Sharon or a level four. We're in the clear, we're good. Now, evenly matches in this deck, specifically, mostly because of tier limit. If they have the Sully Hick in the, on the field, they need a tier limit on the field to use it. If they have a crime in the back row, you know, of course they're gonna negate it, but that eats up a negate. So very important to use evenly match against tier limit if you're losing against that deck. Now let's get into the deck list, which again, this is the updated deck list of the first place global player. I have his name on the deck list. It is Tasuku. I, I put his name into Google Translate. So look up Tasuko's YouTube channel, rank one DC Cup March deck updated. This is the updated version of what he played this week and I had to yoink it. So a thing that stands out here is Droll and Lockbird. Why? Well, you know, I was thinking about this and I think it's mo probably mostly because he really hates Max C and who doesn't? So Droll and Lockbird is another way to stop Max C. And you may be thinking, well, how could Droll be good? If they met, if they Droll you, then you can't search. You, both players can't search. So they're gonna get their draw one, and then you're gonna be drawing them. So let's think about this. We summon Ziamen, we search for the Foxy Toon. We activate Foxy Toon to special summon our Sherakusai. They chain Max C. We have a Droll, so when the Sherakusai hits the field, we're now going to stop them from additionally drawing after their draw one. So now we can't search. So we're gonna share a Kusai Fuse into the Rising Carp. Then Rising Carp is gonna summon a Deer Note. And unfortunately the Wagon and the Madame is not going to be able to search for anything because of the Droll and Lockburn. But with the, uh, rise, with the Deer Note, after we Synchro, we could Synchro into, we don't have to Synchro into Punk because this states that if we read this, if this card is sent from the field to your graveyard, so we could synchro into any level eight we want, which could be, let's say, a Draco Berserker. You can make a Draco Berserker if you want. Uh, other, if we read the Amazing Dragon, it states non-tuner monster, so it could still be used to summon a, an Amazing Dragon, the Draco Berserker, that is. And then the Deer Note would activate the special summon Sherakusai from the graveyard, and then your field should be a Draco Berserker, and a Sherakusai, which could make an amazing dragon. And that's still pretty good, much better than allowing them to draw a ton of cards under Max C, which they'd be drawing like four or five cards right there. So I'm thinking that's the main reason why we got the draw and Lockbird in addition to the cross out, called by, Ash, all that good stuff. And uh, what's up with the, hmm, uh, the Dragite? Do we have a water in the deck? I think it's gonna be from using the instant contact, yes? Oh, no, what What am I thinking? We, the, the Rising Carp, mate, okay, uh, even better. Well, I mean, I knew that, I knew that. Instead of Draco Berserker, we can make the Dragite. So if you want Spell and Trap card negate, that may be even better. Spell and Trap card negate plus Sherakusa. All right, I'm writing that down. Generally, you're not gonna be doing that because you're gonna be, be making the Dragon Drive, but under Droll and Lockbird, I guess this becomes much better if you're playing Droll and Lockbird. I don't know if this was even in his list for the first place global uh, until he put in Droll. So enough jibber jabbering, I appreciate you very much. I'm gonna see you on twitch.tv slash decade this Saturday, and maybe on Saturday my YouTube upload, I'm gonna be leaking another secret pack deck type, yes. And you know what? I'm gonna be leaking a leak right now about that leak that I may be leaking on Saturday. The seek, not the new selection pack that is. I don't want you to get confused and I'm not being confusing right now. The secret pack, which is mostly comprised of reprints, me unveiling a new one is coinciding with a new deck that is being released with the next selection pack. Do you understand that? 
So the new selection pack deck type is going to have a secret pack at the same time that supports that deck with the, all the main ultra rares that you need for that deck. So you're not going to have to craft. That's a big deal. So you can try to guess what you think that's going to be. I think I'll be unveiling that on Saturday alongside the new deck type and all that good stuff. I appreciate you all very much. Thank you. Oh my, cheese is 20 minutes and we are out.